Welcome back to Foot Pedal, Foot Pedal, Foot Pedals tutorial. I'm your host, Meme and old Kurt. You guys know the deal, so let's get straight back into it. We're now going to start physically making the pedal boards and the pedals themselves. Now, I'm going to give you measurements so you can make it exactly the same as mine. But if by changing it, it actually makes it more comfortable for you, by all means do that. Now, so out of your thin MDF or plywood, cut out two pieces, uh, 800 by 340 mils. I've also cut out four pieces of plywood, which are 75 by 150 mils long and another two which are again 75 deep but only 135 mils wide. Those pieces I just pointed out there are what's going to make the pedals themselves and remember I'm using 20 mil thick plywood. It's a good idea to take your pedals and round them with a rasp and file. So them on the corners are marked down 60 mils this way and 205 mils this way and then drawn a line linking the two together. And what that does is if I take two of these pieces, this is one that's 135 mils long and this is piece 150 and put them in this L shape like this then line them up against this line here then take another one of the 150 mil pieces then they're going to make the four panels for my foot so I can hit side or a head. Now you're going to draw that line again on the other side of the board but a mirror image and then from those two lines you're going to draw perpendicular lines down to the base of the board and that's what will give us the shape. But don't forget to do this twice on both the boards for top and bottom. Um, to give it a bit of gap in the middle for wiring that's when the, your 12 to 25 mil thick timber is going to come in. So you're just going to cut length of that to sort of make an edge for it. And you're also going to lay some pieces in the middle so that it's not all hollow and will easily be crushed. So you can sort of put some weight on your feet and it's not going to hurt it. Uh, don't forget to leave a gap around the back for your data cable to enter because it's got to get in somehow. Okay, so now you're going to take your copper sheet and you're going to cut out 40 by 12 mil pieces and drill appropriate size holes on either end for your very small screws. You're going to need um, double the amount of pedals that you plan on, plan on using, so that for me that's 12. Then screw the hinges and pedals in their appropriate places. Once you've done that, you can then screw the copper strips um, on the top of the pedal and on the bottom of the baseboard at 90, 90 degrees to each other so that when the pedal swings down they contact each other. If for some reason they're not contacting each other, you can always shim one in the middle to give it a bit of extra height. <coughs> okay, so here's a quick side note, but it's important. Uh, when I first made these foot pedals, I put the hinges on the inside, but just due to how le le leverage works, I found myself always swinging my foot all the way to the edge of the pedals, which was just a little inconvenient. So I have since switched them so that the hinges are on the outside and the pedals sort of swing inwards, and that's definitely, definitely an improvement, so I recommend you doing that too. So you're actually going to take your long end of your data cable and basically strip and solder a significant amount of ribbon wire to it. You're just going to need enough length to go from the back of your pedal board to the individual pedals. Now remember, there's going to be at least two commons in your board. So the easiest thing to do with those commons is to strip excess plastic off, so around 10 mil of exposed wire, and do this for four other wires or however many wires need to connect to that particular common. And take all those wires and twist all the metal together and whack some solder over the top and heat shrink that. So that way those four wires or how many wires can then go off to the individual pedals. So now you just want to drill holes underneath all the pedals. Out of each hole should come a pair of wires. One of the wires should be one of the commons and the other one should be just one of the other wires. Then you're going to take those two wires, they should be stripped, and you're going to unscrew one of the screws on the little piece of copper strip and you're going to jam it underneath the screw and tighten it back down and do that on both sides. And this way when the pedal is pushed down the contact pads will push together and that'll just be the same as connecting those two wires and you'll get a button press. Now, so you're going to want to secure the data cable in some way so that if it gets pulled it's not pulling on the individual wires. So I did this just by drilling two holes and putting a, da a um, table guy through and just tighten it up and that works pretty nicely. Also now we just need to stop the pedals from pushing or the contact pads from pressing just under the pedal's weight. So to do this I just took some 5mm thick foam, cut out little uh, little squares of them, got some du double sided tape to stick them there and just put those under the pedals and that just keeps them apart. Important note though, if you want to paint your foot pedals, what you should do is you should definitely do it before you put the little foam in, pieces of foam in and just put a piece of masking tape over all the contact pads. Um, and then you can just spray it and then just strip the masking tape off and they'll still be free of paint. Okay, so we're pretty much done. There's just one tutorial to go and that's the tutorial on auto hotkeys, which is very highly recommended if you want to take full advantage of your gamepad and foot pedals. So I'll put a link in the form of an annotation right here. Also check one in the description. I also promised or said that I would go over 
how to make the pedals without the gamepad if you just want to make the pedals. So you will still need to watch the two first gamepad tutorials so you know what's going on. So I'm going to assume you've watched those or go and watch them now. Okay, welcome back. So you understand that basically it's just, we've just soldered wires to the contact pads and then wired those to the pedals. And we've linked the, the, the circuit board to the pedals via that data cable. But if you don't want the gamepad, all you need to do is put that little circuit board inside of the foot pedals and secure it somewhere so it's not rattling all about. But yeah, drill it, screw it down somewhere and just have that inside the foot pedals themselves. And then all you need to do is have, instead of the data cable running out of the foot pedals, just need a little USB lead and that can plug directly into your computer. Easy peasy. It's not much different. It's just taking out that data cable and it's exactly the same. Well, that's me done. Thank you very much for watching. As you guys know, I love it when you guys show me what you make, especially if you learn how to make it from me. Um, I'll put a link in the description to my Facebook wall. You can post pictures. That's a very easy way to show me. Also, I love it when you guys hit those like, favorite, share buttons. It really helps me out. Um, I'll chuck up some videos here in the annotations. Other videos you might be interested. And of course, this one here is going to be uh, the last tutorial, the auto hotkeys one. Definitely, definitely should check that out. All right, see you later. Random time lapse of me studying for my exams just recently.